Then I have Assassin's Creed 2. Um, I've played Assassin's Creed 1 on my Xbox 360, um, and I really love this game. Um, I know that um, most people don't like this game because it gets bored after a while, but I like this game. I like the graphics, um, I like the story, and everything around Assassin's Creed. And um, I decided to buy Assassin's Creed 2, um, and I'm definitely not disappointed with that game. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 is much better than Assassin's Creed 1. That is one point I have to say. Okay, um, the graphics are not um, better than in, in uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Um, but um, I think the story is better and all the stuff around is much better than in Assassin's Creed 2. That is what I have to admit. Um, and yeah, really awesome game. I love to play it. And I'm not. I'm through with the storyline, but I have to search over feathers for it. And yeah. And my last game for the uh, PlayStation 3 is a game I got for Christmas this year. It is the Saboteur. Uh, hopefully I pronounced it right. Um, this game. Uh, like I said, I get for Christmas, but I don't even expect it because I don't ask for this game. Um, but, um, but I think it is an awesome game. It is my opinion. I know that it don't get much good reviews, um, especially the graphic um, isn't so good. But um, this is a point which I really like in this game because I like the um, black and white effect on the graphics. Um, what I also like is the um, story that is about an Irishman in Paris uh, uh, killing Nazis and stuff like that. I think this could be really interesting. But I also have to admit that this game that I don't even have it uh, played yet. So I have like two or three games which I'll give it a try or which I have to play on my PlayStation 3. So, those were all my PlayStation 3 games. Next up is my biggest collection of video games, is my Xbox 360 game. I don't even have them, I don't have them counting how much they are. Um, but I think they are, um, I guess, about 10 games for my Xbox 360. Next are my Xbox 360 games which is my biggest collection. Um, I guess I have like 20 to 25 games for my Xbox 360. Um, I start up showing you all my sports games, then my fighting games, and then the uh, other games I have for my Xbox 360. So, yeah. we start with uh, Rockstar Presents, uh, Rockstar Games Presents, uh, Table Tennis. Um, I don't know why I bought this game. Um, it's not that I like table tennis. Um, I thought it might be fun, but um, uh, after trying it, I uh, have to admit that it's really hard for me. Um, I just uh, beat the uh, first championship. I tried the second one, but I did never beat it. So, um, next game is as I also play. So, is SK2. Um, I have to say that I was um, a Tony Hawk fan, a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater fan, and uh, Tony Hawk's Underground and everything Tony Hawk is. Um, I have every game of the whole series, um, but um, when I first saw Skate, so um, I was um, so impressed by this uh, individual style, how this game all the stuff around this game, so I bought Skate first one. Like I, I also have every year the new FIFA game. I have FIFA 08, FIFA 09 and FIFA 10. Um, um, we have to say that FIFA 10 is um, the best FIFA ever, so the most realistic FIFA you have ever played. Uh, or I have ever played so for that. Um, yeah, 
but this is also just for fun, like like uh, the basketball games. This is not a big game. I'm I'm hanging on every day. Just yeah. So now I come to my uh, fighting games. Um, the first is uh, UFC 2009 Undisputed. Um, uh, this is a game. It's really awesome. The graphics are really awesome. You I've never seen such uh, good graphics on a fighting game. Um, yeah. Um, so now we come to my fighting games. Um, first one is Smackdown vs. Raw 2009 uh, featuring EZW. This is also a game like uh, the basketball and the football game which I got every year. Um, I have also 2010 but it is, isn't at home because a friend borrowed it from me. Uh, I got uh, all games from the first one, Smackdown vs. Raw. Then I got 2006, 2007, 2008, then uh, 2009 and 2010. Uh, but 2009 and 2010 are the uh, only games I got for Xbox 360, so the others are for my PlayStation 2. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a fan of this uh, game, um, so I don't can say anything negative. Um, what I really like on this game, uh, on this game especially, is the yeah, Road to WrestleMania mode. Um, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Next up is TNA Impact Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. Um, this game has just one positive thing, and this is the graphic. The graphic is so awesome, um, so so uh, clear. Um, it is even better than the uh, newest uh, SmackDown vs. Raw, the SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Um, but the rest, so like the controls or the moves, are uh, some bad. Uh, so bad, sorry for that. Um, but uh, that's only my opinion. Uh, yeah. Uh, my last fighting game is UFC 2009 Undisputed. Um, this is a lovely game. I've played it a lot. Um, uh, here is um, the graphic is also awesome and. Uh, the moves are good, not as like in, in TNA. Moves are pretty good, and uh, yeah, good game.